Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. And this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for uh, Thursday Night Football. We got my Buffalo Bills going against these Dolphins playing in Florida where it's going to be nice and hot. So uh, hopefully we don't have a repeat of a couple years ago when everyone's getting heat stroke and all that. Speaking of heat stroke, take that off. Go Bills. I wore this in my last video for Sunday, and uh, the Bills won, so I'm going to keep it rocking. Uh, all right, so first up, going James Cook, receiving yards over 18 and a half. Cleared this last game. We cashed it last game. Uh, definitely can catch. All right. Was kind of looking into his longest reception, but it's a little too far. He can go over this in one play. I believe he did go over it in one play last game. Uh, we got his receptions at two and a half. Minus 122. Over one and a half is minus 340. So, Books is saying he's going to get it. At least two, between two or three. Had three last game. Averaging about three a game. Should be an easy, uh, easy cash. Uh, always all lining it back. I played it at 18 and a half. So, yeah, let's get it. James Cook, receiving yards of 18 and a half. Uh, also played, just like last week, I played his rushing yards. Uh, 59.5 minus 120 DraftKings. Always have multiple books. I know I'm a broken record, right? Uh, multiple books, line shop. Get the best line, the best odds you can possibly get. If you bet anything like I do every day, shit adds up. Believe me, it does. Uh, as well as you want to get that lower number, uh, what was it? Sunday night game. Uh, no. Monday night football. Uh, Kittle, 39 and a half. Played... Uh, they had it like 42, 43. I played 40 plus for like, uh, it was a little more juiced, but uh, he got exactly 40. It's crazy how the book's always right on, right? But uh, yeah, so rushing yards, Bills, since he got the new coordinator last year, middle of the year, uh, Joe Brady, they definitely started running the ball a lot more. Uh, they kind of run a little more than they actually pass now. But uh, plenty of carries, getting like 15 carries a game. You should be able to go over this. Uh, he had, you could try to combine him, rushing yards and receiving. It's just I like the receiving at 18. And uh, combined, they had a, like... What the hell? I will check it out. Check it out. 84 and a half. So 59, 69, 79. It's more than, you know what I mean? Don't make sense. But uh, he did have over 100, 103. But yeah, so let's get it. James Cook, reception yards over uh, 18 and a half, and rushing yards, 59 and a half. Get the lowest number you can. So next up, I'm going uh, Don Kincaid receiving yards. Uh, 39 and a half, I played that. 
always alt line it back. Don't go for that first number. As you just, I don't know if you've seen that. We got it at 42 and a half, 43 and a half, 44 and a half, minus 110, minus 113. You know, get it as low as you can for the amount you bet. Uh, 39 and a half, minus 130. Let's fucking go. Uh, multiple books, like I always say. Caesar got it at 170, just about. FanDuel minus 130. So you got to have multiple books. You take advantage of them sign-on bonuses and all that, deposit bonuses and any other bonuses too. I stay using them during the games. Profit boost. Uh, you got to say you got a 50% profit boost. Get a guy who got a low number. Instead of 39 and a half, get him at, you know, 24 and a half. Add the profit boost. So it'll definitely cash. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, so last week they uh, they emphasized on, uh, Arizona emphasized on covering him real well. Uh, he had a good game, just didn't have, he had one reception. Uh, I think he only had one target. Two targets, one reception. But uh, that's not going to happen again this week. He had a great game blocking, uh, very active. It didn't bring him down that he wasn't getting the ball to him all the time. Uh, it's his second year. It's, a uh, it's his second year. He was a rookie last year. He's only been with the Bills. And uh, had a real good year last year, and they're going to look to get him involved. I wouldn't be surprised if they run some plays right off the rip for him to get him going. Um get them going early, and them short crossing routes and stuff like that, that'll open up the field for the, for the goal routes and all the other receivers. Uh, Bill's got two good tight ends. They got Dawson Knox. That's my next play. Let me get into that, too. I got uh, Dawson Knox. We catch this last week. I've been catching this forever. Uh, over 12 and a half receiving yards. Now, mind you, he only get one or two catches a game. It could be more. He's definitely reliable. Tight end, uh, third down, you know, third and eight, third and 12, third and 14. They need that. Uh, he can catch, and uh, he should get at least one or two receptions a game. They don't even have his receptions up here. But uh, I should go over it. Uh, a lot of times I was playing last year, his the long reception. If they have it at below 10, I'll play it. He had it, uh, one reception last game, two attempts. And uh, we cashed it. So, yeah. Uh, Kincaid and Knox, both on their yards. All line it back. Get them at the lowest number you can. It's like this. They got a 14 and a half, 13 and a half, and then you can get it down to 12 and a half. I'm telling you, it's the difference between winning a bet and losing a bet. All right, I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. Uh, new viewers, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And everyone turn on the notifications. This way you get all my plays, my videos, my live bets. I try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, I am a sports better, first and foremost. This is to help people, you know, uh, I'm not just a content maker. But um, every play I give you, I bet. So, uh, yeah, and likes. And if you could leave a comment, comments help get the videos out there as well as it's Gives a little interaction. Uh, I like hearing what you have to say, cash and bets. Uh, you know, what's working, what's not working. You got any ideas? I do appreciate everyone who does like and comment. But uh, let's keep it moving. All right, Matt Collins receiving yards over 17 and a half. I don't think that's what I played. Hold on. I 
play his receptions. I don't know why. Oh, uh, because I was moving it around. Receptions over one and a half. Now, he had a touchdown last game. It's his first year with the Bills. He had two receptions, uh, two targets. He, um, I didn't know much about him, so I looked into him a little bit before it. He was on the Eagles. Uh, took them to a, I think they won the Super Bowl when he was on there. A couple other teams. Uh, good receiver. I know last year he didn't play that long, but uh, the games he did play, he had a few receptions. But it's not only that he had a few. He's good at catching three out of four. Uh, three out of four, two out of three, three out of three, one out of one, two out of two. So, uh, you know, a veteran player, he's not scared scared of the, the spotlight. And uh, with that TD last game, it was a nice little route up the middle, a little, little, little slant, and uh, Josh hit him right in the end zone and caught it. So definitely going to build confidence and chemistry between the both of them. And uh, I see this number going up, not this game, but in the next couple, uh, two receptions, it's going to be easily done. Receptions, so we're one and a half, let's get it. All right, so last up, uh, Keon Coleman, receiving yards over 39 and a half. Uh, played it on FanDuel, minus 130. This line opened up at 38 and a half, went up to 44 and a half. So I all lined it back. Always all lined it back. I stay saying it. It's the difference between winning and losing. Especially if you're betting more money and unit size is up there. Uh, get that number even lower. But uh, yeah, he had uh, four out of five receptions. Five, you know, five attempts. He caught four of them. He dropped a little money last game, just messing around. Sixty plus yards. They had like crazy plus money. I put like five, ten dollars on it, and he had fifty-one. He almost hit it, but uh, he had one one reception. It was pretty long, twenty-eight yards. But uh, it's his rookie year. And the other thing I like, too, he's from Florida. He played, well, I don't know if he's from Florida, but he played for Florida High School. So that hot weather down there shouldn't bother him. Uh, he got his receptions at three and a half. I expect that the defense to try to lock him down. But he's a physical, physical receiver, big guy. He's not the fastest, but he runs fast. As well as, as I showed earlier, the receptions that Dolphins let, let up last week. Uh, like three or four of them, pretty long balls. Uh, Gabe Davis, like I said, 20. I, I, I picture him, Coleman, as a kind of a Gabe Davis type guy. But, uh, you know, 22, a long reception, 18, 30. So... They're giving him up, and uh, if they're giving him up, I think Coleman can get to him. He did make a couple of little simple mistakes, but that's just because he's new. Uh, it's not so much mistakes. It's just things he could get better at, separation and things like that. And he's got a high IQ, football IQ. So I see them immediately probably – he probably is going to put that in effect and get better and better every time. All right. Yeah, so I liked it. Uh, played his yards instead of receptions. Receptions not a bad idea, but I just think the yards. He's forty-three. Uh, I played thirty-nine, thirty-nine and a half. But uh, I can see him going over that, especially if he's getting long balls. Go over that in, in two catches. But uh, there's a few other plays I liked. Uh, always like kickers. If they got their number at five and a half kicking points or six and a half, it's just that I got a lot of bets right now, so I, I faded away from them. 
but plays like that. Key numbers is, in football are, are key. Like, don't play seven and a half kicking points. But, uh, you know, six, I like five and a half a lot if you could find it, but they don't have them right now. Any kicker for that matter, five and a half. But, uh, uh, Shakir, I liked his plays too. But, uh, as well as Poya, Poya's on the Dolphins. He's a safety. Uh, he used to be on the Bills, but they got his tackles high. Four and a half, I think they have him at. So it's a little too high if they had it at three and a half, four. But that's why you got to pay attention and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Because once the game starts, a lot of those numbers will come down, even all the players' numbers. So I'm going to get in there, I'm going to figure it out, and I'm going to drop it in the community. So uh, let's get that money. Go, Bills. Each money the name being paid for the game. Let's fucking go. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh